Friday night in New York City. It feels like fall outside. I am literally wearing a jacket because I need it. <laughs> What's up you guys, welcome back to another weekend in my life in New York City. My name is Danielle, if you're new here, I'm wearing silver, who is she? Um, anyways, I'm headed to dinner at Lola Taverna with three of my best friends from high school. We literally were like core four in high school and now we all live here, which is so crazy. The last one, Caitlin just moved here, but well, one of our very good friends, the core five, she lives in Arizona and I don't think she's coming back. So um, we love her dearly, but um, for now we've got four of us holding down the ground here in New York and I'm really happy that they're here. So we're having a little wholesome dinner. Could turn into going out, not really sure. I've been really enjoying waking up on Saturday mornings feeling good. I did just drink an element though, so that could help. Anyways, I'm literally, the vibes in my apartment right now are so good. However, we're about to head out. This is my outfit of the night. I'm just wearing this white long sleeve. Crop top from Ella Day, moto jacket is Lamarck, jeans are from Good American, and then I'm wearing just some Reebok sneakers, earrings are from Jenny Bird, and I just did this little situation with my hair. I don't know, the claw clip might be a little too daytime, but I think it's happening. So, let's go have a night in New York City, baby. I can't explain it, but the claw clip did not feel right for a Friday night. I don't know how else to explain it. So we're switching to a slick back pony, which I think just makes more sense with this outfit and everything. Yeah, that's better. All right, now let's go. Tonight was so lovely. I just love being with that group of girls. It's just, girls nights just, they cure. They cure everything. Well, it was like kind of a funny story. So we get to Lola Taverna and our waiter's like, okay, I'm gonna be your waiter tonight, whatever. And I immediately recognized him because the other night I went to St. Theo's with my dad, Ryan, and my aunt for my dad's birthday and he was our waiter. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you also work at St. Theo's? And he was like, yes. Cause I just remember he was such a good waiter. Like I, he was just so great, so kind. I don't know. I just really liked him. And so I was like, oh my gosh, guys, we're in for a treat. He's our waiter, whatever. And so then throughout the meal, he's bringing us free appetizers, extra drinks, stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, this is so nice. Then at the end, he brings us free dessert. We did not order dessert. And we're like, oh my gosh, I guess we're just like so cute and fun, whatever. So he puts on the bill and it's free. And we literally all just like put our cards down. We didn't even like whatever. And then we're like, wait, oh my gosh, it's zero dollars. It was like a little short receipt. And we're all just like, wait, I'm so confused. Because my friends were like, did you set this up? I said no, like for an influencer dinner or something. Cause normally even if you do like an influencer dinner that usually is just for two people. And so I'm like, wait, Claire, will you come over here? And I was like, this is so generous. Um, can I ask like, why did this, how did this happen? Whatever, I was trying to be chill. And he was like, oh, my manager told me you're an influencer. I was like, ah, here I am thinking. It was just because we were being nice and we were enjoying our time with him. Maybe that was a part of it, but somehow they knew that I was an influencer. So thank God I took some photos because I'm like, okay, well, I gotta post some stories about them. I've been a little to Verno a couple times. Love it every time, but it was just so sweet and generous. And my friend was like, she started crying. She was like, this is just so nice. My friends were like, does this happen to you ever? We go, absolutely not. That's never happened to me actually where they just new like usually it's like a setup thing beforehand if i'm like talking with the restaurant but i did not set anything up we literally made this reservation last night so very generous very kind much appreciated okay i have all my jewelry off i'm gonna get cozy and brian's actually on his way over right now um and we're gonna watch some tv and wind down so that we can have a nice morning together like it's already like almost 11 o'clock but it would just be fun to watch a little tv on the couch and yeah i didn't end up going out so my friends did but I just like wasn't feeling it. So, anyways, yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> it's just weird. It is like I could not stop laughing the entire thing, and I think they just loved it. What is? What is? I am just. You're yeah, so funny. That's why it took 15 minutes. Well, because I tracked you on Find My Friends, and you're in this one corner for so long. 
And then I got nervous that something happened. No, I mean, it's all good. Um, <laughs> it's great, I'll see you in seven minutes. All right, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Guys, so last night, I, Ryan and I went to dinner and then afterwards he was like, I want you to meet my new flower guy because he's been bringing me flowers like once a week, which has been so lovely and so generous and so kind because we've been dating for four years and I just, it never got in his head that I wanted flowers and he's now understands how much flowers means to me. So now he's been giving me flowers once a week, which is so kind. And so he took me to meet his flower guy last night. It was in my last vlog, but, um, and he like loves the guy, his name's Oscar, and he made me this beautiful thing. So it's been like 30 minutes and Ryan and I don't live far from each other, so I'm like tracking him and he's in this one corner and I'm getting nervous, so I call Ryan like twice and like, and he's not answering, so I'm starting to freak out a little bit. Ryan calls me, he goes, okay, well, I'm gonna spoil something if I tell you the story, but I have to tell you what just happened. He went to go get me more flowers tonight. Which is so nice, but I'm like, oh my gosh, like you can't have too much of a good thing, you know? Like I think he just knows, because I think because since he brought me to meet his flower guy last night, that meant that he didn't get the wow factor of like me opening the door and he's holding flowers and he's like, oh, I wish. That's the one thing, I love seeing your face when I get you flowers. So maybe tonight he thought, oh, I'm gonna stop by, because this it's like at a bodega basically, so he's like always there, which is crazy. Like it's 11 o'clock at night and he's still selling flowers. So Ryan went to get me flowers, but I guess when he got there, the the flower guy and a couple other guys were like drinking and having a party and they were like hanging out with Ryan. Now Ryan's gonna take one of them and do a workout with them. I don't even know, that's so Ryan. But now I'm like, I mean, it's so sweet. He went and got me more flowers. So I think he's about to walk in with more flowers, but that's just so funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to get more flower vases. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, of course. I love Oscar now. My guy. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to invite this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a new gym buddy. These are gorgeous. Oh, the flowers are so pretty. Great. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Morning guys, it's Saturday morning and we're watching college game day. It's game day, you guys already know the drill. Dogs are playing and uh, we're gonna start the day off by going just to get some breakfast at a diner. That sounds nice, just showered so my hair's wet. We're going full on Meredith Blake outfit today. My goal is after breakfast to either go for a long walk or go to like the farmer's market or just something. I just want to walk around a little more. I'm gonna pop some sneakers on. Let's start the day. in Union Square and honestly there wasn't anything I was really wanting I was trying to find something to bring to my friend Adam who's having a birthday picnic to his picnic today and everything was like gonna be really messy and for a picnic you need handhelds so we went across the street to Whole Foods and I got some mini brownies I mean you can't go wrong and then I got some croissants um, I'm really excited he's doing a picnic for his birthday on West Side Highway. I can only go for like 30 minutes because of the Georgia game, but I wanted to make sure to stop by. Okay, so I did have a couple drinks last night and I'm going to be drinking today and I just 
I went for a really long walk. I want to stay hydrated. You guys already know how much I love Element and the fact that they sponsor my vlogs makes me so happy because I drink it all the time. So this is the grapefruit salt flavor and it is absolutely delicious. They have so many amazing um, flavors though. It has a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I love that there's magnesium in this. Probably my favorite thing about Element though is that there is no sugar. There's no sugaring, there's no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten no fillers like there's just no BS honestly there's just so many different benefits to element and drinking electrolytes element can actually help prevent and eliminate headaches muscle cramps fatigue sleeplessness and other like common symptoms that you might get from electrolyte deficiency mm -mm -mm. I use element if I'm traveling and I just feel like I'm not drinking enough water or if I just did a huge workout and I sweat a lot, because when you sweat, you lose sodium. So by drinking this, there's obviously sodium in here and it kind of helps replenish that. Or if I'm hungover, had a couple too many glasses of wine, this also just brings me back to life. So right now, Element is actually offering a free sample pack with any purchase to my followers. So if you guys click the link down below, that'll take you to get the deal. But I mean, that's so amazing. You can buy one flavor that you're curious about and then you get a whole free sample pack, eight of them in there. So, like I said, go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn. It's only available through my link, so you've got to click down below. So that's drinklmnt.com slash Danielle Carolyn. Yeah, I just got back, and I'm going to drink all of this. I'm feeling nice and good for the day. I'm going to get a little cleaning done. I might start some laundry today, which I might regret. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we've got the birthday picnic, and then it's game day. Georgia is playing South Carolina, and I'm going to go to American Whiskey, which is the Georgia bar. Um, so I get to wear my little red and black outfit. I'm so excited. It's game day. If you guys are new here, I went to University of Georgia for four years, met my boyfriend in college, and I just loved college so much. And Georgia football is like, when I became a freshman there, their football team got so good, which made it even more fun. And uh, we won the national championship the last two years, which was so crazy. I'm a big fan. I'm very excited. Um, so I gotta wear the red and black. Our colors are red, black, and white, I guess. Um, so I got this red corset top purposely four game days. It's from Revolve. I'll link it below. I really am just loving corset tops, especially ones that aren't cropped. I love cropped ones, but ones that aren't cropped because I just find them to be very flattering on the figure. Um, but yeah, it has like cute little bows on the side. And then I'm just, I'm girly on top, masculine on bottom. We're just wearing some of my favorite black cargo pants from Urban Outfitters. They're called the Ray Carpenter pants. And we're going side part because it just gives a little more volume. I just put this INN Beauty bronzer glow on my chest and I really like how it looks. I'm trying to decide right now if we're going gold or silver. This could be so cute. These are from Electric Picks. Or we could do silver. Some silver hoops. Silver goes with the hardware of these pants, but I feel like I could go either way. I'm gonna do silver. I also have these that I keep wearing from Jenny Bird. But hoops. I'm gonna go with these. I really am just obsessed with these. They're little silver spheres from Jenny Bird. I need to decide if I wanna do necklace or no necklace. I'm about to pull up to Adam's wholesome birthday picnic all like game day out, <laughs> but he knows. And one thing about Adam, he is a dogs fan. He has been with us like on New Year's Eve when we won at the very last second. We all like did a cabin for New Year's Eve and unfortunately everyone that was with us was forced to watch the game but everyone was so into it like Adam was like Georgia's biggest fan and Adam was like if it rains today the game plan is to go watch the Georgia game and I was like you were hysterical I have this necklace from Electric Picks why not I feel like I do need some sort of jewelry oh wait or I have this from Love AJ hmm decisions decisions I'm gonna go Love AJ because this one's like a little bit more low-key, a little more delicate. The other one's really bright. I've just been a silver girl lately and I can't believe it. 
And whenever I wear a silver outfit, I have my two silver rings. <laughs> I wonder if I should take this off. I think I'm gonna be rogue and take this off. It's just killing the silver vibe. All right, gold is off. All right, I might take off one of these accessories last minute. Like I'm honestly, I'm gonna take off the necklace. <laughs> I'm crazy. I like the plain chest with the earrings and the rings. I think that's perfect. I'm literally going, so, oh, I didn't even say where I'm going. I'm going to American Whiskey, which is a Georgia themed bar on game days. The other days, it's literally like a bar restaurant in Chelsea, but on football days, it they put Georgia flags up. All the bartenders and waiters wear Georgia stuff. It's really so cool. A lot of colleges, not a lot, but a good amount of them will have like a themed bar here in the city, which is really fun. So if you're moving here from the city, highly suggest, like I know there's a Penn State bar. There's, I'm sure there's an Alabama bar, you know, just like big schools. They definitely have like a place they congregate to watch games like this. So I am so pumped if you can't tell. It's finally time to break out the mom waters. I discovered these in Florida and they don't even sell them in New York. I have to get them shipped, but mom water actually noticed me and sent me some. So I'm gonna bring these to the picnic. This is Linda, she's blueberry peach. I actually haven't tried her. Karen is my favorite um, and it's lemon blueberry. Blueberry is basically vodka water, no carbonation, but these go down so easily. They're so good. All right. Bag, check. Sunglasses, check. Drinks and picnic things, check, check. Gonna turn off all the lights. I'll see you guys on the flip side. We're gonna see how much I get vlogged today. <laughs> Go dogs. Back home now, I opened the balcony door because it's so nice outside and I wanted some fresh air. Because so I'd love to be outside, but there's just a lot I want to do in my apartment right now. I thankfully ran my first load of washer stuff before we left for breakfast, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna move that and I'm gonna do my whites. And when my dad was here, he pointed out that my shower liner for my shower curtain is so dirty and it's just not a really good quality one. He, he found this one on Amazon that I got. Um, that has magnets in it so it like, you know, sticks to the wall better so you don't have as much water on the floor. Um, so I need to replace that. We're just having a Sunday reset day. <laughs> shoes for my birthday party i'm having a big 25th birthday party this week i'm so excited it's my last few days of being 24 so i'm wearing them around the apartment just to, i'm ne i haven't worn them outside yet i'm just trying to see if they are comfortable and so far they're very very comfortable 
Um, I love a platform heel. It's kind of a requirement for me if I'm purchasing heels. So I'm not gonna purchase uncomfortable heels, you know? all day I feel very productive I plan my workouts for the week I got my groceries ordered but now I'm needing some like activity and I really was not active during fashion week I was active but I didn't get any workouts in and I didn't go for any walks and I've been really enjoying my West Side Highway walks so we're gonna go do that now I've got my headphones on because they just my friend Ellie Thuman calls them her therapy headphones and I feel the same. It just feels like a warm hug when you have these on. So I just, I have everything on the same. I just change into some like regular leggings instead of like the yoga pants. But yeah, we're just gonna walk till I can't walk anymore. And um, then we'll come back and maybe I'll pick some stuff up to make dinner and we'll have a cozy night in. I stopped by Citarella because I wanted to get a rotisserie chicken to have for dinner tonight and I forgot, Ryan warned me about this, like sometimes towards the end of a night the grocery store doesn't have any more rotisserie chickens and that was true. I also saw these jumbo blueberries and I just need to have them. Um, cause obviously I have groceries coming tomorrow but I had nothing for tonight. So tonight's dinner I got some green beans, rice pilaf, that just sounds good, garlic, some fresh garlic for the green beans. And then some grilled chicken. I just got it pre-made because um, I really wanted the history. So that's all I got. But we're gonna get cooking. I'm either gonna watch Gossip Girl while I cook or play Frank Sinatra. Updates to come. Okay, I found this playlist on Spotify called Happy Cooking Music, and I think it's perfect.